السلام علیکم گائز آئی ہوپ دیٹ آل آف یو آر فائن اینڈ ڈوئنگ گریٹ سو ٹوڈے آئی وانٹ ٹو ڈسکس ٹو پوائنٹس دی پرابلمس وچ آر کامنلی وچ کامنلی ارائز وین یو آر یوزنگ پاتھ ٹو فارم ماڈیفائر ود ان تھری ڈی ایس میکس اینڈ دیز آر ویری کامن ایشوز اینڈ اے لاٹ آف دی ٹائمس we just miss these things which results in a lot of time wastage and, uh, and, and and a lot of issues as well so here I have this trap and this is the path around which we will like to deform this path so this path is not a simple rectangular path uh, or strap but it just has some extra details on it which are attached to the base then once we create a path deform modifier and pick this path now the next step should be logically to move it to the path and we click that you can see that its scale just instantly increased several times something like five times or ten times it has increased its scale and uh, when you are working precisely with the measurements and sizes it's just a lot of mess so moreover we are actually not sure how much the size has increased so how to avoid this thing there is a very simple solution before actually creating the path deform modifier what we should do is we should be uh, resetting the x form here in the tools panel you will see this reset x form you have to click and reset selected for this trap and once it's done you can use path deform modifier path deform pick this path and move it to the path and instantly you can see that this problem has been solved then there's another problem which arises commonly when working with complex geometries and deforming those geometries along certain paths uh, which is a, uh, which is particularly the stretching of the mesh so for example uh, an object which is 5 meters in length when you deform that particular object around some path the object stretches the distance between individual vertices and edges increases and as a result the length is uh, not the same so there is also a quick tip and solution for that what you have to do is you have to select the path and you have to apply a modifier which is normalize spline so after norm uh, now it's a straight path but what do you have to do you have to click the option count not count and you have to give a pretty good value so that it's circular and after that when you apply the modifier and you move it on the path it will be perfect without any stretching so i hope that you find this these tips useful and uh, if you have any questions just ask those within the comment section and take care of yourself goodbye allah hafiz